Hi hi! It's Milty and we are back again with another Girl of the Day episode. And today, as suggested by one of the, my Discord friends, um, we are gonna be talking about the limited stage girl Mirai Mahiru Suyuzaki. Okay, so as you guys all knew, or if you guys don't know, um, Review Starlight had a collab recently for the past three weeks ago, four weeks, a month ago, with Hatsune Miku, and she is a limited summon, and everyone died for her, because first of all, she is so cute. I mean, look at the art, it's so pretty. There was even super nice music in it. And look at her diamond mic. That is so cute. I swear to god. <clears throat> but we'll be discussing about her skills and what makes her special and <clears throat> if I would roll for her or if I'm not. Even though I have her. So let's get into discussion. So um Mahiru is actually one of the only usable dream units in PvP. So in case you guys don't know, there are actually no dream units that are actually nice in PvP. But what makes her nice are her skills and I'll be getting into that right now. So Mirai Mahiru is a mid-dream stage girl. Hold up, am I saying her, is that her element dream? Am I right? <clears throat> Clock me, message me, comment down below if I'm saying it wrong. But, okay, she is not fast. She is also squishy. So, with that said, that only shows that she is not really that top tier in PvP, if I were to um, say. She's not really up in the list like other characters. But what makes her very nice is her skills, and which I'll get into right now, which I've been saying. So she has Ballad, which is 2 AP, which can sleep 3 stage girls in front. She has Rock and Roll, which is also 2 AP, which could stun 3 front enemies. And Low Brilliance Recovery to all allies. Okay, what made her worth pulling is her kit. If you take a look at it, um, she only costs 2 AP for all her skills and she has brilliance recovery, sleep, and stun and it could really really get annoying especially in PvP. So ever since she got released, I got so traumatized because the, the only stage girls I know who could stop is um, Phantom Michiru and What's her name? Um, Tamamo no me Maya. So, the problem with this is she is really, uh, she's good. She could like keep stunning you, sleeping you, and it really gets annoying and frustrating at times. I sometimes get traumatized fighting her, but her kit is something to look out for. It's not really for regular stage girls out there. She even has better kits than most of the 4 stars. But what made her a little lower is, re besides her low speed, is her climax act. First of all, her climax act could stop all of you and it's really bad if you don't stop her. But the twist about it is since it's so strong, it is 3 AP. And the fact that it's 3 APS, there could be a cleaver, a stunner, a sleeper, or a de debuffer, or someone who could cancel Mahiru's ult and kill her <laughs> in an instant once she uses her climax act. So, most of the climax acts are 2 AP, and if you have Snow White, you could do it for 1 AP. So, the problem with uh, Mirai is she has 2 AP, which and she's slow. <laughs> I mean, she has 3 AP and she's slow, meaning that she will obviously, obviously 
be the second one using her climax act when you're fighting in PvP. But if you strategize it properly and learn where to position her climax act, it could really be very deadly. There are times where there are people who just go all out and go climax act, climax act, climax act. But when after the first climax act and Mirai goes next, she's gonna stop all of it. The two remaining climax acts and the combo are gonna be wrecked because there's a high chance that you will be stopped. That's why when people fight Mirai Mahiru, some people bring um, a counter heal like Kifumi, Sailor Shizuha, just to make sure that they could live for the first turn and they don't even use a turn at all. Sometimes you just use Brilliant Strapability right after because they know for sure that their whole team could possibly stop for one whole round. And that's bad. Um, So, her unit skill is a back row unit skill that we're in two or more Sage Girls of the back position are in unit. Own act power up critical up so basically if there are two backstage girls she raises up her damage and her other skills which I haven't unlocked yet actually are actually pretty neat I guess but she does a lot of damage so she has passive dexterity passage passive damage received like the 15 which is a lot um, she has exit evasion Exit Evasion is once your HP strikes 1 HP, you recover a certain amount of health bringing you back to, you know, almost like half health, 3 fourths health, I'm not sure. But the bad thing about this is there are cleansers out there in PvP which could remove your Exit Evasion. So um, what makes her nice is her kit and her versatility and usability and pvp i sometimes underestimate her but she's actually pretty much a threat in pvp once you fight her and you don't get to kill her at once yes she is squishy yes you can cleanse but once she procs that climax act sleep and stun you are over <laughs> i've i've lost actually a lot of times against mirai mahiru but i barely see them now because and the upper PvPs, they just don't include her in their team. So, with that said, is she worth your gems if ever she will come back in the future? I'd say yes. She is good PvP. For PvE, there are cases. So, if you want to stop the, en the enemy boss, sure. If you want to sleep and you don't have a sleeper but her, sure. If you have no other stunner but her, sure. Um, would I personally roll? I went ham on her. I spent 30 something, 30,000 something gems on her just trying to get her because she's limited and I know that she's never coming back. And I might feel the same for Bang Dream, but for Bang Dream, I'll be careful because. I might only save my gems for one unit, which is the Bang Dream collab Aruru, because she's crazy. So, um, anyways, um, is she useful all around? Yes, I'd say yes. She's adorable, she's lovely, I love how she looks like. She is fun, her climax act ult is fun. Uh, I really wish you guys um, played her during the event, because the song was so hyped. <laughs> but yeah that's it from milk tea and i hope you guys enjoyed this session of girl of the day see you guys next time bye